Um, hello, everyone. Um, I don't have slides um, for my session, just to provide you some background and update as the data point modeling um, approach became an ISO standard um, through a special process within ISO. Um, so we know um, from our Euro filing in initiative that um, the European supervisory authorities, um, the EVA, OPA, ESMA, and to some extent the ECB have been using the data point model for quite some time. Um, and the important aspects of the digital strategy of the ESAs are uh, is to harmonize regulatory and supervisory framework and data standardization in particular of regulatory data definitions. And so this is the space where the data point model exists and what it addresses. Um, so the, the entities um, have uh, been reporting this way for quite a few, a few years and the, as a result, the data point model actually has gone through um, some technical updates. Um, the, the DPM became an ISO standard in a particular um, process called the fast track process. Uh, it was an originally uh, created as a European standard of, of SEN. And because of the relationship that SEN and ISO have, um, they, they work together. Um, in which ISO recognizes standards efforts from other official standardization bodies like SEN as candidates to become um, ISO standards. And the work that that previous, that was previously done in that recognized official standardization body is recognized by ISO in the kind of approval process um, that uh, a standard like this uh, enters into. So the, the draft of the standard uh, as a candidate for an ISO standard actually enters the ISO process at the, uh, the, the draft um, level called a draft, it's equivalent to a draft international standard being developed um, in ISO, which has already received um, the approval of uh, the creating uh, technical committee or, or subcommittee. So this, this in effect put any fast track standards or any candidates for fast track standards on an equal footing um, with work that's already been done. Um, so that they try to be able to match the, the level of consensus that's already been agreed by a standard. And this is how it is recognized um, by ISO in, the, in, in that process. So uh, uh, the, the actual template of the standard, the DPM standard itself um, in SEN, there were of course multiple um, parts and documents um, were converted um, into the template uh, that ISO uses and the, the SEN standard template and the ISO standard template are, are very similar. Um, and then a ballot was conducted to approve, approve the addition of the DPM standard into ISO TC68 Financial Services Technical Committee. So um, <clears throat> since um, the, the ballot, it was actually um, agreed as an approach uh, that uh, the DPM standard would enter ISO as is, um, as a SEN standard. And then uh, work would begin in order to be able to recognize um, the, the work that has been done since DPM was originally introduced and um, started to be used by the ESAs and the ECB most notably the EBA for co-rep uh, and FINREP and EOPA for solvency too. Um, so the next steps in ISO would be for the DPM to incorporate these new features into a new version of an ISO standard. Um, this is done by means of preparing a proposal from Euro filing in its role as a member organization to TC68, which would include a description of the proposed updates to the standard and then to conduct a ballot. So uh, because the Euro filing um, members and communities um, have expertise in uh, the DPM, this would be relevant um, for the Euro filing members to, to actually join um, through Euro filing's membership to ISO TC68 within the actual work. Um, and we would announce uh, when this work is to begin and, and if it has been approved and then to begin and then to allow members to come forward and participate 
And we hope that uh, many members will be able to do this when the work begins. Thank you.